D is not failing. <laughs> my camera just stopped recording. And it's like, sorry, we can't we can't film anymore. And I'm like, why? And then it doesn't tell me. Every single time I like plan to make a video, this light's always on. Oh gee. <laughs> Hello people. <laughs> I've already made kind of this video, but it was really nothing, right? <laughs> we should just film the whole video like this. Come on, guys. We should just do this. Ah! I cut. I did cut my hair. I ended up cutting my hair, but it's been like two weeks since I said I was gonna cut my hair. Since I, <sighs> it's been like two weeks since I cut my hair, and the last video I made was around two weeks ago. My hair's a little longer than it was in that video. You have not seen that video. You won't see that video because that video is not going up on YouTube, but I did make it. It's a thing. It's a thing on my computer that you won't be able to see. Anyways, um, this is going to be a really hard video for me to make because I'm going to be laughing and stopping at like every single second. Anyway, so I have an idea for this video. I've been thinking about it for a couple days, but I want to, like, I kept wanting it to be like a longer length of time before I made this video. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just make it. But I also wanted to explain why I haven't been uploading and why it's going to take a while for me to upload uh, because I have explanations and prepare. Good thing I'm not an English major. I'm going to college right now, and college and video making are very hard to do when you're not majoring in video production. Just saying. So, um, that's it's finals time. So that's why I haven't been uploading because I've had exams and crazy things going on with school and studying, and so that's why I'm able to make a video now and stuff. Okay, anyways, also check out the giveaway. It's gonna be ending when I hit a thousand subscribers, so I know you guys can do it. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe, and then it'll be the first link in the description, so it's not gonna be that hard to find unless you're like totally like disoriented with finding descriptions and things in descriptions, then it'll be hard for you to find the giveaway. Anyways, it's gonna be first thing, unless you don't understand what first means. Oh, things are falling. The, the way I am in life is I, I'm a person who needs change. So I, I like, I jump around to different things. So video making is sort of in that, in that ramifications. I hope that as a word that applies to this sentence. So video making and like me doing all these things. So you'll see, so I like to write stories, but I like to write them in a fictional, non-fictional way to where like you know, I apply non-fictional things and then kind of twist it and make it my own. And I do that on Wattpad. <laughs> and I first started making, like writing stories in middle school, which was like six or seven years ago. So that's why we're gonna be uh, reading my very first ever book that it's not finished, that's on Wattpad. It's gonna be very scary. So I haven't read this in a good solid like two years. Cause I, like I went back and I'm like, I was reading it and I thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, so when I was 12, which was when I was um, into Doctor Who, I loved it. So I I was obsessed with Matt Smith and he's like the 10th or the 11th Doctor, I can't remember. Anyways, um, so I was obsessed with him. And so I decided it was gonna be a good idea to write like a fan fiction about him. So I wrote several, but the one we're gonna be reading is the very first one. This is a solid piece of art in a 12-year-old mind. And it got how many views? Like kind of like 50,000 views. If you're that age and you get more than 10 views, you think you're famous. It's called Never Give Up. Hold on, wait, let me just search it. Oh jeez, what the heck? This has nothing to do with my search. Okay, we're just gonna read it. But like, I wanna read it like a book. A few moments later. Oh, here, <laughs> I found it. Um, so we're just gonna read a few chapters and just find the juicy stuff. Cause like, it gets pretty boring. And you know, like, a 12 year old can only write so much in one chapter. So it's gonna, probably gonna be like 500 words in a chapter. It's supposed to be like 3,000. <laughs> okay, so chapter one, I even had to write the chapters in with the word and not where the chapter is supposed to be. Anyway, so we're gonna be critiquing them along the way. Oh my gosh, this is a very, this is something. I wrote as if I was the main character. And I also um, wrote as if I was like 10 years older. No, yeah, probably like 12 years older. So it says like, when I was 13, I was 12 when I wrote this, I'm just saying. I, I, I remember writing this on the bus, okay, <laughs> in middle school. So I started out liking Doctor Who when I was 13 years old. My friend Nick, who was a pastor for, for the youth group at the church, this is very, this is all true. 
at the church I went to said on a mission trip that he couldn't wait to for this the Christmas special. This is very true. We were on our um, middle or like middle school mission trip for church, and he's like, oh, I can't wait for the Christmas special, and I'm like, oh, what Christmas special? So um, he's like, Doctor Who. So I went home and I watched it and I got obsessed with it. So this is true. I was a little confused because I had no idea what he was talking about because at the time I had no idea what Doctor Who was. My friend Morgan, yes, she's an existing friend. She helps me make um, Sally Parkins. Sally Park, she she films that. Um, my other friend Morgan started watching, started talking about Doctor Who. She said it was amazing and that I should start watching it too. Well, I did, and I got a little hooked to it, exclamation point. <laughs> Maybe just a little. My mom would always say, Jessica Lynn, what are we going to do with you? She said that before then. <laughs> I knew one day I believed, if I believed hard enough, I would meet Matthew Roberts. I, didn't, I even knew his middle name. I just, I did my background research. <laughs> so I was also obsessed with wanting to act. That's how I got into filming. Um, so I wanted to act and I would, like, I would, I would never turn down an opportunity to act. But, um, so that's what the story and most of my stories are about, like acting. Because that's like, it's prob probably more about me fantasizing about what I want to be and what I'm not going to be. Of course, no one else believed me, but you know, I never listened to them. Uh, by the way, the name is Jessica Malloy, and this is my story on how I became a Doctor Who legend. It all started when I was in high school. I wasn't even in high school. I had no idea how high school worked by this point. I took drama class, which I actually did, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, and I was the type of girl who kind of stayed out of everyone's business, but I could always get someone to laugh. Uh, I acted like a blonde most days, mm -hmm. because I am one, <laughs> but I acted like I was from a whole different planet other days. I wish I was from Calibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Steal a TARDIS every now and then, I switch about exclamation point. <laughs> well, back to my story. I took drama and it was pretty fun. I wish I could have been in a movie, but my brother who... Okay, so yes, um, this part is kind of true. So when it says my brother who's a movie director, first of all, it's not my brother, it's my brother's brother. We're not... His name is Mike and so my brother is Brian. M Mike is an editor for a very big movie company. Um, I thought I was a director at the time because I was in, I was in middle school and so he had, he recommended that I take drama class which I did. I told yeah I loved it. I love drama class. If you ever want to get into acting drama class theater is just a great group in general. Okay so my brother who was a movie director told me to take drama class if I wanted to become a decent actor so I did but I didn't really pay attention in class. All I did was stare at a picture of Matt on the cover of my binder. I had a picture that I drew of him on my on the cover of my binder. I figured if I was born to be an actress I would get an easy A, but it turns out that's not always the case. I got a D in the class and had to retake it my senior year. Why? You don't... D is not failing! So you don't need to retake it. Anyway, that's really hard to fa fail drama unless you do nothing. Um, not too bad of a class, but none, none of my friends were in the class. I had no idea who anyone was, so I picked the corner seat, the back of the classroom. Uh, I actually did what I was told and pulled off a low B in class. I believed I learned everything I needed to know about acting because let me tell you something, acting is very hard. I figured I I would find out more when I meet Matt Smith. Yes, so when I meet him, I will find out how hard acting really is. Not the best choice, but I had to meet Matt one way or another. I literally ended every sentence with an exclamation point. Um, that's gonna probably wrap it up for today because if you, so, okay. <clears throat> if you want me to read more of my um, young fan fiction novels, <laughs> um, I will definitely do so. Just give it a thumbs up, comments up down below, and I will see you guys next video. <laughs> Bye.